YouTube, how are you? It's been ages, hasn't it? And it sounds really, really echoey in here. Echo. Echo. You see? <sighs> Flo came back from uni. Whirlwind. <clears throat> She's a whirlwind, that girl, I'll tell you. Nobody better get in her way. <laughs> she has a mother's daughter. Um, so she's, turned, she's changed a bedroom, or the, the room that she uses as a bedroom is her room. When she comes back, um, so everything sounds like really like, ah, <laughs> compared to what it did. It's weird, because the water's over there, it used to be behind me, or there, and I used to be over there, where the Lego display now is. I'll show you that another day. Or actually, I'll let Nemo show you that another day, because I'm sure you'd have to do that. Um, but yeah, where are we? Where are we up to, gang? Mm. Crappy weather equals pain. We all know that, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis, fibro, any kind of arthritis actually, osteoporosis, all that crap. Oh, damp, cold weather. If I could move away and uproot my entire network of you know, friends. Looks like I'm going on my own then. <laughs> They're only kidding. If we could move to somewhere where we could take everything we've got here and put it in a warmer place, I'd be so happy. I'd be so happy. I don't do cold. I can't do cold. It's, oh, I've just been in bed keeping warm. I've not been asleep much. And I think I might have dozed off at some point. Freaking headphones have broke again. Four months I've had them. You know, the little ones that go in your ears. I quite like that. <sighs> Fucking Amazon. And it's an 18 rated channel before you shout. So how are you, my loves? Because when did I last speak to you? Bonfire. After bonfire and Halloween. Yes, that was the last one. God, that was ages ago. Sorry, I'm rubbish. I am rubbish this week, and I have a very good excuse. Well, no excuse really, but because it happened, but bear with. <laughs> Look, I'm drinking. Hello, bear with. Hello. Oh, hi. What do you need? I was just wondering where you were. I did, I did tell you, but I don't think you heard me because you were talking to Daddy. All right, bye, boo. Love you. <laughs> right, oh, sorry. Hello, we're back. Right, I'm drinking. Oh, Rubicon. It's, oh my God, it's lush. It is black cherry and raspberry in spring water. A whole 12 calories, girls and boys, of course. You know, let's not forget those who want to wear tighter clothing, you know, lose a few pounds before Christmas. You look absolutely awesome. Not that you're not going to look awesome anyway. Everyone looks awesome at Christmas, don't they? It's Christmas. Everyone's happy. Should be. Even if you've got sad memories. I've got a sad memory coming up this week. I'm going to take a drink and I'll talk to you. Oh, I'm in love with that. I could drink that until it went out of fashion. It's got no no calories, no sugar, no nothing. Well, 12 calories, no sugar, no nothing. Great. Love it. Right then. I need to have a chat. Um, I need to try and hold the camera still. I need to get a freaking try. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Mm. Um, right, I'm going to try and hold you as close as I can, as steady as I can. Should I say that was close? Because if you were close, you'd be like that, wouldn't you? You'd be able to see that freckle there on my wrinkle lines. So I'll keep you there if that's all right. <laughs> so, where were we? Okay, Halloween. So that was a bonfire night. So it was the end of October. Good grief, it is a while since I've seen you. I'm so sorry. Welcome if you're new. Thank you very much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on your mood. And if you fancy seeing more of me, subscribing, that would be lovely. And maybe, don't know, give it a share. Tell your friends that there's a crazy fish called Dory wearing glasses and looking like deep fried dod crap, dod crap, coffee dog, dog crap. I'm so tired. I hate this time of year. It's like, ugh, it just zaps your energy, being cold and in pain. You just want to hibernate. I think I was actually meant to be a bear. <laughs> Who knows? So, right. 
let's start at the beginning. I found that's the best place. Uh, Nemo now has his hearing aid for his left ear. She says, yeah, left ear. Um, and it sits just at the back. It's, he's not got a bolt in his head, so it's not, it's not as severe as that. But it is a cochlear um, hearing aid. So it just sits just at the back there. And then the band comes up over the front. Now, they used to have them like Alice bands across the head. But what they found was that when kids were getting hot and sweaty, it was like, what? The, the band itself, the hearing aid clips onto, um, was getting mouldy. Therefore, the kids were getting like, what, rank hair and, you know, poor skin. I mean, if, you can't, if, your head, if your head can't breathe, if you want to wear If you're one of these idiots... He wears a hat 24-7 because he think he's cool. <laughs> you need to let your head breathe, you know? So because they're supposed to wear it... Um, well, he's supposed to wear it constantly. God, I am nearly all white now. Uh, haircut tomorrow and then I'll show you. Not showing you yet, I look like shit today. I don't care, actually. I do look like shit, I don't care. Um, oh, where were we? I don't think again, Dory. <laughs> Nemo's he hearing, right. So, um, we're having a couple of teething problems with it because it's quite sensitive. So if he sort of does that, it goes, ee. oh my God. You know what feedback's like off a microphone? It's that noise. Ugh. I am going to go and get my hearing aids tomorrow. Ooh. Mm -mm. Dory's special, Dory needs two. <laughs> I've lived with tinnitus all my life for as long as I can remember. Christ, I need to shave my legs. <gasps> Sorry, squirrel. <gasps> uh, squirrel moment or a Dory moment. Ow, right. Um, yes, apparently um, my tinnitus is so severe, but I'm just used to it now. So I, I didn't realise how bad it was. So... Um, I got referred to ENT um, because of my reflux and my swallowing problems. You remember all that ages ago? Went and had a camera like <laughs> about four times in one week. And all, you know, mechan they watched the mechanical thing on a barium, they call it a barium swallow. You know, Mrs. No thanks. <laughs> no, it was bloody gross. Don't ever. Ugh. I'm warning you now, it tastes vile. You have to put like a little bit of die in with your food you have to chew it and swallow it in front of a like a live x-ray so they can see all the mechanics working here here that's how they know i've got damage as well to my um larynx larynx yeah you know you know the one you know the one your voice box and your vocal cords all around there um that's because of reflux even though my uh, gastro doc consultant said I haven't got reflux, so I said, why the fuck have I been on reflux meds for the last 12 years then? Hmm. Because the NHS likes to throw pills at people. No, they fucking don't. Not here. I have to plead and beg and actually sob to be seen in the GP, you know? And I, Anyway, we're waiting on pain management now. That's the next step for me, pain management team. 4th of December, that one. Uh, so tomorrow I get my new hearing aids. We're trial and error with Nemo's. Um, but going back to what we're saying, because it's on the band, they can't, they're not so, they've sort of said, you know, with it being fabric, they don't want it going across because kids get sweaty, don't they? Running about, hoods on, hats on this time of year. You know, not like in the summer. I mean, who wears a fucking woolly hat in the summer? Or, a, you know, a, a baseball cap or a hat with smiley faces on or emojis or shit like that. Not in the summer. You want to get a bit of air to your head. Oh, right. So, um, the band itself is fabric. So I'm going to put a little stitch just in each side to keep it in position. Because what he's saying is that it keeps, like, moving. So, obviously, as soon as it moves, it's sat back there. As soon as it moves, it goes... That gives the feedback thing. I could actually show you, if you don't mind. Bear with. Hello. <laughs> right. Are you ready? Uh, fair warning, earphone wearers, take them out now. Because this is going to go like... Uh, 
in your ear otherwise, so I'm really sorry. Fair warning, ready? See if you've got, just, just, or mute the sound or whatever, or turn it down. Three, there it is, sorry. Three, <laughs> two, one. Can you hear that? Yeah? So. <laughs> this goes round his head like that. So that the band comes from the back round. Ladies, you'll get it. You know, when you swear Alice bands, headbands, all that. Well, gents as well. <laughs> I mean, what does it matter? We're all, apparently, we're all non-gender these days. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. You do what you want. I personally couldn't give a monkey's whether you're black, white, Asian, green, purple, plume, you know, plumes of purple smoke coming from your nostrils and you've got green hair. I really don't care. As long as you're a nice person and, you know, you treat people as you would like to be treated yourself, then you're good with me. We're good. There's nasty people I don't like. Oh, God, right. Earphones out again. Right. So this bit here is the bit that sits there. And what's happening is every time it gets loose, it's moving. So it's doing that. All the time. So we managed to get to first break with it today, which is good because he did only get it yesterday, poor kid, you know. Um, but his one-to-one -one wasn't in today, which I didn't think would happen so soon. So there was nobody there to sort of help him. Or I think nobody wanted to touch it, if that's, that's probably a more fair thing to say. Nobody wanted to actually touch it and move it around. So that's fine. That's fine. Um, so yeah, come tomorrow, we'll both be wired for surround sound. We'll be able to hear everything in proper sound like you guys do which is quite good really um so yeah but that's it for now um this week in terms of sort of health stuff i think or have i got really that's it um yeah that's where we're up to at the minute so i'm waiting to go to pain management nemo's got his hearing aid and i'm getting mine tomorrow okay now for the sad memory Five years ago on Friday, 23rd, um, I lost my mum to very, very aggressive lung cancer. Dad, if you watch this, just know that I love you and I get it. I understand why you didn't want me worrying. You know I can't say this to your face. I can't say it to your face. Because I'll cry like I do it now. I just want you to know I love you. I understand why you didn't tell me how poorly mum was. Because, like, everyone always says, we've got enough on our plate. Yeah, we have. But it doesn't stop us caring about you or anyone else, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have that little bit of distraction and worry about someone else for a change that isn't me or Nemo. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I really don't, you know. I only managed to get 14 hours with mum before she passed. But at least I managed to get there. My uncle didn't make it. Um, her baby brother. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be five years on Friday. And we don't live anywhere near there anymore. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether I'm going to be strong enough and well enough to drive all the way to Manchester from here. <sighs> to go to the creme. Um, Mr. Dory's offered to take me. I've said no. It's not fair for him to take the day out just to take me there. It's not fair. If we were doing other things, then that would be different. But just for half an hour or an hour at the creme, it's, in freezing cold weather, it's just not worth it. It's not worth him taking that, that amount because it's like what? It'll be almost three, half hour, four hour round journey. So, no, 
No, if I'm going to go and see mum, I'm going to go on my own. Um, Dad's not going Friday. Um, he's going to go when he can make sure that he can just have some time with her. And that's fine, I get that totally. I don't, you know, <laughs> we all want to appease the mum and, you know, miss you mum, miss you loads. Oh, miss you every day. Every day. I think about you every day. And I missed you. So yeah, I'm not looking to fr forward to Friday much, but um, what I'll do is tomorrow when I've got my, when I've done my, I've got to go and get my hair cut before the, <laughs> look at this. I mean, good God. Like, where's a gummage? If anybody knows you, like, <laughs> I like a right mess. Now I'm crying. Ugh. Dory, get a grip. So yeah, Friday's a sad day. I don't want Friday to come. Well, there you go. Once it's gone, it's gone. And then I can try and focus on Christmas and go and see our friends who've just had a beautiful little girl. Oh, this is so sweet. I can't wait to get my hands on her and just give her snuggles and squishies. She's lovely. But there you go, guys. I'm going to wrap it up because I'm, I'm quite emotional. Um, Flo's okay. Um back up to uni, um, still with her beautiful, handsome, kind, caring, mature man. Who though I think they're the same age. But he's actually um he's in the forces. So he's working really hard, bless him. He graduates next April or passes out whatever it is that they do. I should know this, shouldn't I? I'll ask her. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very happy. Nemo's good, apart from this hearing aid. Do, 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 do. Mr. Dory's fine, the dog's fine. Samson, the crazy skating dog. Um, and I'll be fine. We'll all be fine. So I hope you're well. Let me know how you're doing down there. Um, let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to cover. But one thing I do want to say is um, we've had a lot of paranormal activity going on all the way through Halloween. It's really starting to build up now. So there'll be much more of that coming on. Um, there's lots and lots of orbs that I've seen. Um, so I'm going to try and make sure that I can cover that side of things as well. Because I'm really still really, really interested in my roots. And, you know, the whole Wicca thing and the pagan thing. And I'm really, really into that. And I really do my homework on it. So because we're getting so much traffic going through the flipping house. I don't mean cars. <laughs> I'm like that. We all just go to bed. <laughs> Good. <laughs> but yeah, that's what, what, what happens when you buy a house that's 18, built in 1850 on some uh, old battleground, isn't it? So anyway, I'm going to go because I love you lots. And um, I don't want to keep getting sad or make you guys sad. So I will probably see you again very, very soon. If not tomorrow, I'll do it Thursday. Um... But yeah, I will be looking uh, <laughs> much tidier and I probably, I'll probably cry again, just to warn you. But I promise you will not have to hear that sound again. <laughs> I'm going to fix this thing. All right. So take care of you and everyone you love. Life's too short. Okay. <laughs>